Hi YouTubers, one for you today, for this morning, whoops, a knife painting, I've just sketched this out, it's based on a, loosely based on the Hewers hut in Newquay in North Cornwall, it's on the North Cornwall coastal po po uh, path, I've not done a, cop uh, a copy of, of it, I've just made it up, and, and it's a bit more level here, because it's on, it's on the path, but it was, uh, it was um, a spotting Hearts were made of big bricks and all sorts of cement and so on. Uh, very, very old, and it was built to house the hewer or the hewers. They would spot the mackerel shoals coming into North Cornwall or Newquay, anyway, of Newquay Harbour. Still got a fishing fleet there, small fishing boats. Uh, and they would shout and, 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 and warn the, uh, the, the fishermen that the, the mackerel were, were high and they would then take to their boats and go out and catch them while they could. So I just made this bit of la landscape up, so, but it's loose, loosely based on, on the hut. It, the, hut, the hut is white, it's like a sort of a tower, well not, not they're very small, sort of down here, so, so this bit was, was round and there's another sort of annex, just memory, just completely made up. So what I'm going to do is, is, is a sort of a dark stormy sky, so that the the white building will be highlighted so um, a good uh, dark colour would be um, oh, I'm going to use some burnt umber a bit of burnt umber I'll tell you what the colours are in a moment I'll find burnt umber burnt umber I've got some fast drying burnt umber but it's sort of it's a griffin and it's sort of gone off in the tube I haven't used it for years I did have a great big uh, 200 mil tube of uh, burnt umber, but it's uh, elastic. It eludes me. God, oh, that's never going to come out without breaking the tube, I don't think. No, it's fancy to break the tube, so we won't break it. I won't play the one, I might cut it open some stage. I've got, I've got a, an ordinary Georgian data round burnt umber, so I'll put that close to the the blue because that's what I'm going to mix it with. I love doing knife paintings as you know. This is a small 8x10 I've got a 8x10 you know, frame for it. Paint to suit the size of your frame rather than get a frame to suit your picture. And I've checked it actually fits so it's a bit of MDF, 2mm MDF. Primed with a bit of PVA glue just to seal it. Uh, Colours, I've got a couple of yellows there, cad yellow, light, medium, yellow ochre, this is uh, cadmium red, ultramarine and the burnt umber and some black. Uh, now these colours, I'm using up paint from yesterday, although I've added a bit more white. Uh, I, I did use a bit of uh, alkyd resin, not alkyd resin, the, the walnut oil, the alkyd walnut oil. Uh, and I think it, it hasn't really set, so I'm not going to use it anymore. Just clean that off there. Leave plenty of paper when you're doing the black painting. And use a penny covering your knees. Uh, right, a sm smaller knife, so a bit of ultramarine and a bit of, bit of umber. Plenty of blue. Don't want it brown, a bit of white. We want it on the blue side. Some of the paint might be a little bit, uh, a bit tacky from where it's been, been out all night. Or oh, congested it. I've, um, I've, I've used this masking tape just to hold it on the board because my easel is, won't, won't uh, go that small and, I, and I paint, I'm painting up to it so that it won't stick in the frame. Alright, let's get some. Some lighter stuff. Put some light on the horizon. A 
It's all great fun, isn't it? It's uh, lovely to do with nice places. You've got to try it. Get some. It's a bit of a isn't it? It is so... Well, it's like modelling. It's like using sand and cement on your brick work. When you're making your barbecue or something. If we go around that, just getting paint on here at the moment. Can I do a bit of a nice red in there? And that, when we get to the sea, the horizon, soft, nice and soft. It's a lovely way of painting. It can be quite wasteful. You tend to throw away more than you use. And, uh, got to buy a tube of Griffin. The, that's the uh, alkyd resin based titanium white. You can get the whole range of Winsor & Newton colours. I'm not, I don't demonstrate for Winsor & Newton. They've never asked me. Okay. Now, let's get some dark around. Around here. We can do a red for that. And then we'll, we'll put some cloud light, sort of relief to this sky, just want to just get that part of the painting covered really quickly. Might have to do a bit of this with a brush, but okay. That dark and there, the counter change. Hughes hut. You could Google it, Nuki, but you'll see it's totally different to what I'm doing, and then I'm making a painting, not copying a photograph. <coughs> the uh, light is okay. If the sound is a bit soft, I'm using this new tablet and I'm not happy with it, the sound, of, it's just not coming out as loud, but if you listen on headphones it seems to be a lot better. So that's our general shape there. Right, now we'll have a bit of light on that horizon, so a bit of red, a bit of ochre. I'm not I'm going off the cave yet, slowly. Well, in uh, oils anyway, it's just a bit too pinky. Let's get that all nicely blended. I'm going to turn this green coastal path into into rocks. Where that sea comes into the, the sky, I'm going to blend it. Sort of dark into oh, 
I'll just go back to that. I don't want to make it look as if I've just painted around the, the building. Looking a bit of a mess at the moment, but we won't worry too much about that at this stage. Right, so we'll have light horizon there. coming to that light we can change it into a darker colour Oops. but what we want is a sort of a transition from the light to the dark but blended so the dark sea shines up against the light sea a little bit silly in there. No, oh, that's horrible, that can be red. Just not working for me today, I think. Right, now we'll get some good sea colour in. It's all of us looking like a sea with the white tops and different bits of reflection in the sky. Thank you. 
a little bit more blended than that. A little more dark in, in there. Right, now we can take, let's see the colour down. Bits around here, where those rocks are. Crashing, big crashing waves around there in a minute. Walk off. Haven't finished with the sky yet. Just a little, just letting it go off a bit. Let's go and do that. Uh, well, let's do a bit more on the, on the uh, uh, sky. A little bit more light in there now. prefer the yellow ochre in the sky in this one anyway Just work away till it looks as good as you can kind of get it. Okay, right, let's uh, do a bit of uh, the white.
Right, something like that. I think the knife is a bit tense. Let me straighten it up a little bit. Right, I'll go to put, I will put a bit of a window in there. Yeah. Let's just do that, that goes a bit, we're going to do these rocks now. So we've got some green. So we have a bit of green. A little tip I gave yesterday was on Patreon was when you want a nice light green, or green, and you're using black, which I use a lot, Add the black to the yellow, not the other way around, otherwise it will stay black or for a long time and you'll use so much paint. So, I'm gonna, so let's just get... Oh, it's not there then. Bit of white in there. Catch a little bit of light. A bit of shadow to put in some of that uh, hut. A bit, of, a bit of darker green here. some rocks in there I think. But work from the top to the bottom. Right, nice green now. And you can see that stay green rather than dark green. To be able to find them next. Remember these rocks in here. So, a bit of black, and I think a bit of red, and a bit of, bit of white. It's very bright today, it's going through my curtains. Your wet paint is going to be well away from the knife when you're putting new stuff on. New uh, stuff. So a bit of, bit of nice. Oh, 
Right, okay. So we'll put in some of that water. Blue Have to that now. Uh, did that have to bright? Answers on a postcard. Right, we'll put it back now. Let's uh, got to put some dark in there in a minute. But I always want to get this this sorted out here. Oh, that's hopeless, isn't it? Put some lights on. I'm in my loft and I've got some three whacking great windows and the light changes very quickly. I've got a north facing light on my right, but I'm in the wrong, the whole setup is wrong for that. Uh, right, let's get that dark. Okay. Just an impression now of uh, of rocks. To the corners. Scrape up all this 
had it green, grey green. Now I'm not trying to model the rocks, which I don't exist out there, so it's just a green headland really. The rocks would be much lower down, but so we could have put them in. A bit dark there. Pick another. They're just knife marks now. Any impression of rocks, light catching the rocks. Okay, that, that'll do. We're looking out here rather than at our feet, but just we need a bit of, bit of light in here. Right, now we've got some modelling. There's a little bit of bit of grey. sort of uh, a darkish window because it, it, it's not a light through, it's a light back to the land. But, but that's my idea of it anyway. So let's have a bit of, bit of this, bit of that. Been inside one of these, or this one. Although this one doesn't exist, it's a figment of me, my imagination, such as it is. up here has been newly renovated. Because the heroes used to actually sleep in it. Keep that quiet now it is because I've got to clean it. No sky. Can we improve that sky? Do we need a bit of light in there though, don't we? No, I don't, I don't know. No, I'm going to just put in a bit of this. Well, I don't know. I don't think that's too bad, actually. Uh, let's, uh, put it in, I'll put it in a frame. Then I'll set it up in these and we'll have another look at it and see if I can improve it. We'll, we'll take off. make sure my, my frame is ready to take this. I'm going to have to just nail it in a couple of tacks because it will just fall all over the place so I'm not careful. Right, let's move that on.
Uh, believe it or not, this frame is plastic. It, it was. It, oops! It was, it was a photograph frame. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it on the. Uh, put it on the easel. I'm going to put the easel up. Bear with me. Okay. Now the frame is white, now it's probably a bit overexposed now, so let's just take the brightness down a bit. So let's zoom in. That's too bright. Sorry, I can't see what I'm doing here. Right. Oh dear, that's awful, isn't it? It's... Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This wretched thing. This is a... It's a... It's a... It's a it's a do you try to use this tablet? All the gauges down a bit. Getting better. But I can't move this slider on this tablet very, very easily. So I think it's glaring a bit. I mean, it's very white against the. Oh, look at my hand. Oh, it's useless, isn't it? Like that, that's uh, useless. Getting better. Uh, right, I think that's about the best we're going to get at the moment. I hope um, you enjoyed that. Uh, have a have a go at these things yourselves. Uh, this is entirely fabricated, it, it doesn't exist, it's, it's just a sort of using an idea and, and making a painting from it. That way then it's completely original. Uh, I could put a bit of shadow in there. But hey, this is what it is. See you soon folks. Bye bye.